New into stock, we have a Vauxhall Insignia 2 litre CDTI EcoFlex. It's uh, the Elite model. 2014 on a 64 plate. It has done 55,200 miles full service history. Um, fuel economy, urban 62.8, extra urban 88.3, combined is 76.3, not 60 time of 10.5 seconds, top speed of 127 miles per hour out of 138 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Zero road tax, so very, very economical car. Up to 88.3 miles to the gallon, that, that's incredible. It's uh, finished in power red with black leather. It's a great spec as well. MOT is only till the, th uh, the 13th of March 2019, so we'll get that uh, done for 12 months and we'll also service it before it goes out. Nice finish on the front, big bright chrome grille and the chrome trims around the fog lamps there. Running lights, xenons, multi spoke alloys. The chrome window surrounds the electric boot release is just under here nice chrome strip across there plenty of room in the back there 60 40 split folding rear seats reversing sensors The seats are like brand new. I think everybody who part exchanges cars with us um, never has any passengers because it, it really is mint in the back here. Plenty of headroom, rear armrest, little ordnance tray there, two cup holders. Uh, the seats are also nice and high. Um, that's uh, really, really built for adults. You, you get quite a lot of seats in the back these days and they only come up to about here and then the, the headrests extend up to uh, keep you safe, I suppose. But these, really supportive and, and lo lovely car, really is. Brushed aluminium door handles here and uh, the seats are sculptured. Um, airbags in the uh, B and C pillars. Just take it for a ride. Remote central locking and a proper key, proper ignition lock, proper blade and uh, manual car as well. Um, I'll just show you the service history and uh, put my seatbelt on to, so it doesn't bleep. Okay, so first service 22nd of the 10th, 2015, 18172 miles by Perry's at, at uh, Preston. Um, they've done a good job there, they've got the stamp there. Unfortunately, when we go across here, now you, you see on the news millions of pounds wiped off the share market and stock market crash and all that. I always expect to see millions of pounds wiped off the value of second hand cars because service receptionists can't be bothered to stamp the service book. So we all know how much a service, uh, how, how much a service history is worth—a good service history, not just uh, on the value of the car, but you know, to, to show that it's been well looked after. This is a main Vauxhall dealer, Wilsons and Co. It actually says there, look, Vauxhall authorised repairer stamp and signature. So they've stamped it over the instructions this person must be doing that every single day day in day out and he still not managed to get it in the right spot it's not even signed i used to sign them i, I make sure the, the most valuable thing in service reception is the dealer stamp so the least you could do is either get a new ink pad or get a self-inking one or just breathe on the, the stamp before you do it. I always used to check our service departments to, to make sure they were doing it properly and if necessary, tell them where to stamp it. But So there, but anyway, I've, I've found it. It's Wilson & Co. Well done, Wilson & Co. Get a decent stamp or get rid of your service receptionist. Um, then we go, Perry's have moved from 
the original place. So they've got a new stamp there and we can see there they've spent millions and millions of pounds on the, the new premises. Um, unfortunately, they've seems they've scrimped on the stamp. So that, it's to me it's really annoying because I've been in, in cars sales all my life and it's so important to have a proper service book with proper stamps uh, and you know if you can't be bothered doing it go and find another job go and find something that you do like doing I mean I can I can just imagine whoever's done that can't even be bothered to look at it probably on Facebook and that that's why they can't even get it in the space so it, it does really annoy me and it annoys me when we have to phone up to check that they have stamped it and then they say oh we're too busy I'll have to phone you back well if you'd done the job right in the first place perhaps you wouldn't be so busy answering the phone all the time to, to people like me so <laughs> it really annoys me we've got an electronic handbrake there and uh, I think that just goes off when when we yeah it goes off when we move forward anyway but may as well knock it off we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel and we've also got uh, memory seats here there you go that was a, the <laughs> I, I need to get the first person <laughs> setting to come and do a video for me and see how many see how many uh, complaints he gets about where he sits let's see where seat two. Oh, yep anyway so two position electric memory seat husband and wife or or whatever they are these days okay let's go go one more thing so with this left and right switch in the middle if you have it right in the center if you have it on the, their left obviously you can adjust the left door mirror on right you can adjust the right one and uh, if you put it in the middle and you press the button down the mirrors fold in that's your global locking switch there and here's your electric windows right after all that now I'll take you for a ride it's a lovely day it's cold but blue skies and this car is just as it's come in uh, it really really does look an eyeful uh, certain cars bright red or power red is this called they really suit it and th this is one great specification I've worked for Vauxhall in the past and to be fair for the price of the cars um, you, you won't really get a, a but certainly a better running car and the economy on it is not that you'd ever get 88 miles to the gallon but I'm assuming if they say you can get 88 you're gonna get 60 at least which in, in my book is still very very good Got sat nav Bluetooth hands-free Bluetooth audio streaming it's got heated seats and uh, it was freezing this morning when I got in it and that was the first thing I looked for and I couldn't find them but you can actually see them obviously better when the uh, instrument panels illuminated of course the next thing I was looking for is how to switch them on so there's a heated seat or a picture of a heated seat there and then the temperature next to it but you touch it you've got to touch it basically three times to get it to uh, heat one is heat three heat two heat one and then next to it you've got your driver's side temperature setting so it's, it's kind of um, like your iPhone screen change into into six there we're doing 60 miles an hour and it's just over tick over so hence the economy underneath that flap there you've got little oddments what used to be your ashtray 
and uh, a power socket. Here we've got a mouse or the equivalent of a mouse pad, track pad, call it what you will. If I just click, I'll show you how to use it later because I've not even looked myself. So that's back. Let me see, can I move across here? Yeah, I can. I'll show you how to use it when we get back to the garage. Why would you do that? Why would you put yourself behind a van? and uh, easy change gearbox. It's running away with me, I'm going too fast. We've never had an insignia with this uh, You just I, honestly, I really don't know. I don't. I'm tapping up and down here, and I don't know what I'm doing. back button does. That's voice activation. Test the cruise control, make sure that's working. Seventy miles an hour. engine oils ready for changing. So that will be cruise control on, then set. So, there we go, 70 miles an hour, exactly, 1800 revs,
volume control over here and uh, your information display in the center there you've got info audio phone navigation click on navigation no route entered info display 53 miles an hour cars done 55,140 but it's it's nice the seats are really comfortable so the driver's side is electrically adjustable we've also got electric lumbar support there the little uh, the two position electric memory seat is just on the side here nice easy reach We've got front central armrest cup holders I think this uh, clicky display thing could take a bit of getting used to I've actually got onto nav there and oh, I've managed to do it successfully but I, I wouldn't like to have to do it on a bumpy road which the one back there was so there's the display nice big sat nav display it's kind of a giving you a bird's eye view as well turn the heater up a bit so just tap it brings the instructions up again zoom in zoom out destination I'll show you how to set this when we get back to the garage navigation voice preferences current location traffic map view so the map view 3d view heading up view north up view all, all, all that's good click that to go back be sure there's a there's a back button on the side there yeah, so that's taking us back there let's just have a go on this again no I, I really cannot get used to that they've not made them foolproof great steering and road holding button time settings right, so it's on uh, I'll go back back got plenty of insignias in but done with this system before we said that nothing can be as complicated as the uh, Ford Sync 3 that I did a video on the other day the, the video just for the Sync 3 system is about an hour and a half long. You don't just click at the side in order to move backwards or forwards you've got to kind of drag and click so let's just say and it, that, that is incredibly difficult on a bumpy road because you just click all the time but anyway 
you should, I suppose you shouldn't really use it when you're driving, so it would be great when you just sat still. Get around this corner and I'll try it again. So, in order to move to the right, slide my finger across, and the left, yeah, that, you just meet a pedestrian walking virtually in the road, along with two wagons when you're going the other way. So it is a it's a, a, a touchpad, but every time I put my finger on it, the touchpad, we seem to hit a bump, and I click on whatever it's on. So that that that'll take a bit of getting used to. I have to say, it's a real driver's car. Rev counter on the left, then we've got fuel gauge, coolant temperature gauge, speedo, your information panel in the centre. Just uh, try the music. We'll go on to media. Good sound system. Piano black insets to the dash and also the door cards here along with the matching brushed aluminium trim, brushed aluminium finishes around the gear tunnel on the dash and the door cards and door handles, contrast stitching on the leather. And the leather actually feels and probably looks better than in a a lot more expensive cars. The finish in the cockpit's really nice, it, it kind of makes it feel like it wraps around you, all sculpted around the steering wheel and the driver. sensors, 